In addition to direct planting, seedlings can also be prepared in seed trays. There are two main types, the black polythene and white styrofoam trays. The styrofoam trays last much longer and are easier to carry. Trays should have between 60 to 80 cells. 50 to 60 such trays are needed to produce seedlings for one acre. The soil used should be free draining and free of pests and disease organisms. Commercial ready-made potting soil is available, but one can make one's own by using manure, mulches and composts with soil or sand and then sterilizing the mixture. Approximately 450 grams or one pound of potting soil is needed per seedling tree. Place one seed in each cell and cover lightly with soil. To prepare the plants for the shock of transplanting, they should be hardened off for five to seven days. This is done by reducing their water supply, watering once daily or every other day and exposing them to outdoor conditions. This will make them able to withstand the transplanting process and they will be less likely to wilt when put into the field. The seedlings should be ready for transplanting after three to four weeks when they should be about 12 to 15 centimeters in height. Fertilizer is applied at planting with a grade of 11 22 22 NPK. Bury the fertilizer in the soil then cover it and plant the seedling in the hole and press the soil around the root area firmly. The best time to transplant the seedlings is in the afternoon or evening and ideally after rain has fallen or irrigation water has been applied. Water seedlings before they are removed from the trays. This makes it easier to take out each plant without damaging it. Carefully remove seedlings from the tray with the root ball intact. Seedlings with bare roots will grow more slowly after being transplanted and their roots may be more easily damaged. By keeping the soil around the roots, the shock of transplanting will be reduced. Transplant seedlings immediately after removing from the trays so that they do not dry out. Spacing is very important to the soil production and growth. Proper spacing will ensure maximum use of land without overcrowding. Rows may be spaced 3 feet by 3 feet or 90 centimeters by 90 centimeters apart with plants along the row 3 feet apart. Mr. Smith, that plot of soil that you have over yes. there could you just tell us what you have done so far, the various practices that you have done so far to bring it to that stage? Well, let me just buy some weed killer, yes. burn the land. After burning the land, between seven eight days, start to plant it. After plant it, in three weeks' time, we go through with the hoe. Yes. And that's on that stage. You go through with the hoe and do what? And, and mold it. Mold it? Yes. Okay. What is the aim of molding? Where you mold? What you want to do? Just clean the grass and make some dirt go around the road. Okay. So after you have molded it, are you finished with it now or do you plan to do anything else? If, it, if, it, if it grows extra weed, yes. we, we go through and brush it with a cutlass. Brush it with a cutlass? Yes, and that's it. But if there's no weed, 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 weed grows, you we leave, leave it, it alone. Land. And at this time, coming yes. now to the winter, yes. you don't have to go back through that soil. Okay. Find no going growing the grass into this time. In the spring now, it grows grass more, more than in this time. Could you say which variety of soil is, is that? Two variety. Okay. The bashment 
and the Aki Sari. That's the red sari? Yes, the red sari. So which is the which is the main sari that you plant? Which variety? The, the bashment. That the bashment? Yes. More than the, the Aki Sari. Yes. It's only one reaping for the year. Oh, okay. It's not coming in, Yes. It's not coming in until Christmas. Ah. But the, the bashment now, three months, you, you, you start to reap. Mr. Caballero, yes. I see you have a, a plot of sorrel and corn. Yes. Um, when was the sorrel planted? Can you tell us? Uh, I planted the sorrel in August, about the 20th of August. August. Yes. We are now in the first week of November. November. So August, September, October, November. This, it yes. is now approaching three months, three months, just over two months. Yes, I can, I can give you a little idea about the sorrel. This sorrel is supposed to in supposed to start to reap him since this week but through the excess amount of rain yes. kind of delay because the first one that bear it dropped off oh so that can you kind of about a three weeks later so you are saying then that when there's excess amount of rainfall rain. it, um the soil takes a longer time takes to come into, time. into production exactly exactly ah exactly that's interesting it, it, although it's a three month crop yes. it can take up to four months you get okay. it okay so you are saying then if there's if there's not too much rainfall when this when the soil is supposed to be bearing, it will come in into three months. It, it will be given three, three months. Yes. But if there is excess amount of rainfall, when it is setting fruit and flowering, yes. it will take a longer it time. Take, it takes a month over. It gives you a month over. Oh. Okay. So it, this soil, it, it best if you if you can give it to one irrigation water. Yes. You know, and, and long if a rain if you get a show of rain, no problem. Yes. But if you can get water when it want it, no problem. You, get, you still get a better crop. But let me ask. Um, do you have any? Disease problem with this variety of sorrel. Yes. The bashment. What I notice with it. Yes. When you plant any land more than um like you you plant it first, second, when you get in the third time, yes. you have like we, we call it um black leg, that, like a fungus. That's a disease that affecting the root. The root. Uh, affecting the root. Is it is it the same one where the plants will dries up and yeah, dies? Yeah, it's the same one. Okay. And it and it comes from like you have an excess amount of rainfall too. Right. And the water settles. Excess amount of rainfall, rainfall and, and the water, water settles at the root. You 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 find okay. you find that thing. Well, um, we, we really refer to it or we know it as being root rot, right? Yes. A fungus problem. fungus problem. So you have it here too? We have it here, but I, I don't have it plenty. I right. like where the water settles by up, up to the tree. So it is, right. it is mostly to be found where the water settles yes. at the root and, of the and plant? Yes, and in major, yes, in major time you find it. Yes. It's more like where you want an old land, like every, every okay. plant is like a two time or three time yes. old land. You, you, you might end up planting it again and yes. you don't get nothing. Where the fungus like, builds up over a period of time. Exactly. Thank you very much. It, it, it is sort of like a new, new part of land. It does a new land. New land at all time. It does best on even, a new even land. You, even if you rest still on like for a, a year or two, yes. you can go back and plant it. But if you can get new land at all time to plant yes. it, you get a better crop. Yeah, you sir, a better crop. Sir, I see that you are a very knowledgeable farmer. Yes, because I, I, I plant it right through the year to get the, the real experience of it. Right. What it like and what it don't like. Right. Right. And how it comes. That's why I have a, a really high idea about it.